Hello everyone. I wanted to share with you a book that I got several years ago and this is a, uh, a drug and natural medicine book. It tells you what interactions herbs have with pharmaceutical medications and what pharmaceutical medications interact with um, with other prescriptions as well as when to take it, who should take it, when to seek advice, and, and things like that. I'm doing a 30-day get rid of anxiety, and I wanted to share with you some of the um, popular anxiety medications, the interactions, the side effects, and then some herbal alternatives that you guys can also take. Okay, so we're going to start with... Um, anti-anxiety drugs and as you see up here it shows the generic name and these are the popular ones that people can take for anxiety um, they're not limited to anxiety if you look over here it'll show like lorazepam for in insomnia and then we're actually going to take a look at each one of these prescriptions and see what side effects and what they are used for. Okay, so our first one is Alprazolam. You guys want to hear my chickens. Sorry, one laid an egg. <laughs> so it just kind of gives you some general information. It also down here, it gives you the precautions right here. It tells you, you know, warnings and then other um, information on it, on this side here, what it can be used for and cautious when to use it, when not to use it. And then over here on this page, it gives you a list of medications that it can interact with. So if you're taking um, anti-convulsion medication, antihistamines, you want to make sure and I'm sure your doctors will explain that to you when you cannot take these medications together. And then over on the side, it's going to list um, the side effects. So it goes from the not serious side effects all the way down to the serious side effects. And this is all for Alprazolam. Okay. And you guys can pause the video and um, take a look at all that stuff or you can get the book this is on page 43 of the, the book okay so the next one is Buspirone and again it tells you what it's for and then um, the brand name and it gives you the general description of it and then down below it gives you the precautions and then again on the this side over here it gives you the possible drug other drug interactions with it and then it tells you what it's it's for what it targets so it's anxiety disorders or short short-term treatment of anxiety so this is really if you're having a panic attack or anxiety you take it and down here it gives you the not serious side effects and then down below it gives you the, the serious side effects of that and that is on page 162 if you want to look that up if you have the book or when you order the book okay the next one is diazepam and again it tells you what it's for it's a anti-anxiety drug it gives you the brand name which is Valium and then it gives you the general description of it when um, it's been used and all that good stuff and then down below it tells you what it's um, it targets, so anxiety and panic disorders. And also if you have um, alcohol withdrawal, convulsion seizures, and stuff. And then this one here has two pages like the other one did. And then up here it tells you the precautions and then any other special information. This is on page 278 of the book. And on page 279... It goes into the the other drug interactions that it could possibly have so you want to make sure you use caution if you're taking any of those things and it goes on down and then over here on this side it lists the side effects 
the not serious ones all the way down to the more serious side effects. Okay, the last one I want to show you is lorazepam. This is one that I actually took a long time ago when I first got this book. And it'll tell you right here, it's an anti-anxiety drug. And then it also gives you, just like the other ones, the um, precautions, the general description, any other special information, what it targets, which is anxiety and panic disorders, insomnia, and pre-surgery anxiety. And then again on this side over here, it tells you what interactions with other medications it has. Or possibly could have and then again over here the side effects and a lot of these are pretty lengthy you know the side effects and stuff and then it goes down you know to the serious side effects okay now I want to talk about some herbal remedies that people use for anxiety and keep in mind some of these will list as um, for depression, but it's also really good for those who have anxiety. A lot of people who have anxiety also have depression, or those who have depression also have anxiety. So let's take a look at one of them. Uh, catnip. Again, it'll, um, just like the pharmaceutical medications, it gives you a general description of how long it's been used. So this one's been used for um, more than 2,000 years. It also uh, tells you how to prep it and then down below it will tell you um, any side effects so the not serious ones so it can cause upset stomach and it says to discontinue and call your doctor over here on the side it tells you the precautions so if you're pregnant you want to make sure you talk to your health care provider before taking um, this herb and then um, interactions with any other um, herbs or medications would be listed over here and this one is just basically telling you that combining catnip with other herbs may necessitate the lower dosage so you would want to use if you're using catnip with another herb that's for anxiety you wouldn't need as much of it also it tells you what um, it's taken for and as you'll see on for catnip, it um, why I would give this to somebody who has anxiety is because it helps with tension and muscle spasms. So a lot of people who have anxiety will have that tension um, or they will have muscle spasms. I know I did also uh, difficulty sleeping. Okay, another one that is very common is chamomile. Again, it will tell you um, the general description how to prepare it and then on the side it'll tell you any special precautions and so it's like telling you the oil should be blue in color if it's brown then it's too old and then over here it tells you what it targets so you'll see here um, it does say it's for anxiety and stress and also um, for muscle pain And then down below, it will show any side effects, and it says the not serious ones is dermatitis. So it can, um, if you use it externally, it can cause some inflammation on your skin, especially if you use it in large doses over a long period of time or too much of it. Okay, another popular one is kava. Again, it will tell you the description of it, how long it's been used, the history of it, and it will show you... Um, how to prepare it down below it gives you the precautions so this one here you don't want to use kava for an extended period of time or in large doses or if you have current liver disease over here it gives you the special information on it the possible interactions again it just says that if you're using this herb you um, may need a lower dosage of if you're using it with other herbs and down below it shows you what um, it targets and you'll see on here that it will 
it targets insomnia and depression. And then down below you will see the, the side effects, the not serious ones and the serious ones. And again, like I mentioned before, you don't want to take cob if you have a liver issue or liver disease and taking it for a long period of time um, can cause some liver issues. Another one is lavender. Again, just like all the other ones, it will give you the general description, um, how you can prepare it, the um, side effects, there's none to be expected, and then it can, uh, oh, it talks over here that you don't want to use lavender oil internally, and then the possible interactions, the same with all the other ones, and what it targets and up here insomnia depression um, I will have to say that lavender if you take large doses of it um, it can have the reverse effect it can make you hyper it can make you nauseated and, and uh, sick so you definitely don't want to um, use it in large amounts this one okay another one that I like to use is skull cap and it um, actually works on the, the spinal nervous system it helps to relax you so again it's just going to tell you the description how to prepare it how to take it and then over here it's going to list the precautions and it will cause drowsiness a lot of people take it to help them sleep and then down here it's going to talk about um, what they use it for so nervous tension tension caused by headaches and muscle aches, insomnia. So this is a really good one, again, for those who have anxiety, even though um, it lists on here that it's just for the mainly a nervous system. Down below, it's gonna talk about the, the side effects, um, the not serious ones, so upset stomach and diarrhea. And it just tells you to stop taking if you have any of those symptoms. Okay, so this one here is St. John's Wort. Again, the description, preparations, um, how to make it. And then over here, it's going to talk about the other precautions. And this one here actually lists interactions with um, other things, uh, medications. If you are taking an anti-anxiety or depression medication, you really do not want to take St. John's Wort because it's so effective that it's kind of like overkill with it and you don't want to damage your body. Down below uh, it talks about what the target ailments are and as you can see it lists, if it's in the frame, that it lists depression as one of them. Down below it talks about the possible side effects. Okay, the last one I want to talk about is Valerian. And just like with all the other ones, repetitive, repetitive, it's going to talk about the general descriptions, how to prepare it, um, special precautions, information on it down below. It's going to talk about what it targets, and it does list the word anxiety. And I really love Valerian. I take it before bed because it will make you sleepy. Down below, it talks about the side effects and the more serious side effects down below. Again, Valerian is those kind of take as needed. You don't want to take it for a long period of time daily. You can take it, I would say, no more than three to five months. If you're taking it every day, if you're taking it longer than that, you may really want to take a look at <laughs> your lifestyle and maybe some other possible issues that you are having. But that is it. I just want to share a little bit of that information with you guys on um, just some natural remedies found in this book. Zoom out. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask down below and I'll do my best to answer those in another video. And until next time, I will see you again.